They should prepare by dressing in professional business attire, you know, uh, wear a suit or business casual. And so, so flannel shirts with uh, you know a t-shirt <laughs> underneath, not recommended. Not recommended. Okay, no. so a suit would be good. First impression counts. Yeah. Yes. And uh, they should have several copies of their resume handy. Uh, an employer could ask if they find a uh, candidate that they're interested in hiring. Uh, they may ask for a resume on hand. Uh, there'll be resume critiques at the fair. <laughs> Uh, so they can speak with a certified professional resume mm -hmm. writer, maybe get some tips, but right. they should have copies of the resume handy. I haven't had to use a resume in <laughs> 38 years now. Yeah. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Plus, it's I mean the electronic, the digital age. Uh, but some they can they can either brush up their resume or even maybe even learn how to concoct a resume yes. at the fair. Yeah, and they should also research companies that are attending. It can be found on our Connecticut uh, Career Fairs page, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll have a listing of all the companies that will be attending the fair. Gotcha. What, now, what services um, are available at the local American job centers? Let me, let me rephrase that. Okay. If you can't make the career fair, yes. if maybe you already have a job, um, where can they get information about who's there and, mm -hmm. and what they can do? Absolutely. Well, there are many services that are available to the public with universal access to all job and career services. We offer employment readiness workshops such as LinkedIn, interviewing techniques, and resume workshops. We also do uh, outreach events in Danbury at the Danbury Public Library, and we have recruitments on a regular basis. 